Hi, welcome to our engine, which is Arch Merge 6.4.1. This is not going to be a tutorial for everyone. This is going to be a tutorial about OBS Studio. Why? Because I keep forgetting all these settings. <laughs> Very simple. So we have Open Broadcaster software and Open Broadcaster software is Open OBS Studio. We can download it in Linux here and in Arch Linux, it's simply just in the standard community repository. It's not even in the AOR, but there is always a latest version, a Git version, and you can download it from there. So what you do if you want to stream, so if you want to record your video when you're gaming, your hobbies, your passions, you want to stream it onto the YouTube, this is what you need. So, sudo pacman minus s obs studio. We're not going to make it a technical, well, not too technical, it's a bit technical, but we're going to restrict ourselves to what you need to know to get started. I have here live dashboard, so you go to your own uh, YouTube channel, your stream now, live streaming, you fix all these elements up, a nice uh, background thumbnail is called streaming options education and so on you just change everything this is what we're gonna need later on to connect to youtube and um, change thumbnail is here this is the image stream options monetizations cards go check it out and you can then afterwards chat which i have just done and um, let's go ahead all right so obs is installed we do it via this uh, update and then we go to OBS. A nice icon for this application and everything is already set. So let's go over what I did. Scene is standard. So scene is, is, is what you have. We can have different scenes, but normally just one scene is, is just enough. You see already my, my head here moving around, meaning there is this webcam that is capturing everything. So if I click here, then you're pretty sure that that's the video capture device feel and so on. So if we add a plus, we can add stuff to it. We can add an experiment with all these, what like I just did. I made uh, an, uh, an online streaming YouTube six months ago, but six months later you have to revisit OBS and say, oh, what was it again? So I have to try it out. So video capture is the YouTube, uh, the webcam uh, video. So we can do that again. So you can see, okay. And here you see what webcam or what camera and what elements you can use. But of course, twice is not possible. So I'm gonna delete this one. So that one is solved. That's this one. Then you have to think in layers. If you're familiar with Photoshop and GIMP, we have layers and we look up from uh, from up for up here to down there meaning the first thing we meet here our eye meets is the webcam which is great which is fun so it's on the top and then the layer beneath it is the image so if i kill the image then this is what you get which is the screen capture so if i kill the screen capture it's all black and if i kill this there will be no input sound so this will be shut down so that's how it works with layers and uh, well image that's the second one so plus image okay and i'm gonna take some image that's a different one i think yeah not a nice one something like that okay so i have image two and image Killing this one, it's almost the same as you see, than the other one. I wonder if I can drag it along. I can drag it along, like so. So image two does this one, and image one is the other one. So video capture, that's me. So it all works with layers, but if you cover everything up, then it's just the image two that you see, and all the rest underneath you can't see. All right, enough. Yes. So, video capture, image, screen capture. Most of the time you want to screen capture something. You want to film what you're doing on your desktop, your game or anything like that. There is the 
this option here is okay and then it's up to us to decide uh, by the way if you're going to make these tutorials it's gonna be or video or gaming or anything that you can stream then you have to have a dual monitor very bad that's the best thing to do and then we of course decide which screen do you want to to film to video to record so screen zero okay and that's exactly what we've done here. So that's a double one. So I'm gonna delete that one. So that's this one. And then the audio. So we need the audio from our system. Audio input capture device, ALSA. Okay. And I told him which device, which probably, um, I don't know, I think it was just this, nothing more as information. And we have also the sound from thy or the recording from our webcam. And that's it basically to set it up. It's not yet finished, but to set it up, that's it. Then we have to go to settings. What did I change there? So we can change some looks here. I believe I changed these three so I get pop ups but automatically record when streaming. If I press start streaming, it also starts recording. Okay, but I don't want it to keep recording when stream stops. And then the stream itself, streaming services. I told him that it's gonna be YouTube. And then we need to pop in here our stream key and the stream key is coming from here. So this is the stream name or key. If I reveal, I have to kill you, no joke. I have to stop this video, of course, to keep this a hidden key, like so. So I copy pasted it here, not pasted, but I copied it already. And that's your personal key that's going to connect with your account and your stream. Uh, so that's it. That's very important, of course. Where do I stream it to? Smash cost and so on and so on and so on uh, I could have could try Twitter later anyway so that's YouTube and then outputs some information output simple software x264 there's nothing to be changed here I believe same as stream I have chosen for this one because I know that even when it's hours of filming it's gonna be very low in uh, megabytes not even gigabytes so very low and output is not changed video I changed output scaled resolution to 1920 by 1080 and that's it basically apply okay so all the settings have been dealt with I think that once I recall anyway and um, there is also a way to go to the settings so settings here settings there i might guess oh yeah when you install it that's of course something you're missing now there is this auto configuration wizard beta it's not beta at all it's it's working great so um do run it it's um working just fine and follow the suggestions they make and you'll be fine all right that concludes this video it's gonna be for a few happy few who wants to stream videos to their YouTube accounts have fun